Amy, are you okay now? Yeah, I just finished the housework. What's up? I'm going back to my parents' house this New Year's Eve. I need you to get me a plane ticket. What? Again? We agreed we'd go to my parents' house this year, didn't we? You promised. Sorry. My mom insisted, so I just... Hmm... I need you to give her a push. She won't listen to me if I say something to her. I'm really sorry. Next year, I'll make it so we can go back to your parents' house. That's the thing. Can't I go to my parents' house and you go to your parents' house? We could do it separately. But... My mom wouldn't listen to me. She said, people are supposed to spend the New Year's holiday at the husband's parents' house. That doesn't make sense. Your mother lives at your father's house, but what about the others? What others? Your relatives. They gather at your parents' house every year, right? But for your relatives, that house is not the husband's parents' house, isn't it? Why only us? Many of my relatives live in that area. I guess it means the same thing to my mom. What does that even mean? Anyway, get me the plane ticket. Thanks. Oh, okay. I thought I could spend this New Year's holiday at my parents' house. I'm so sorry. I'm an only child. I think mom misses me too much, even though she has my dad. That's... Are you saying my parents won't miss me? Oh, it's not like that. It's just that your brother is still living with your parents. And they can come by without a train ride, right? So I thought it'd be okay. It doesn't matter how far away they are or who my siblings are with. It doesn't change the fact that I miss them, you know? That's the way it is. What do you mean? Isn't that too unreliable? You promised me that I'd be able to come home. I'm sorry. Maybe you'll understand when you become a parent. I'm going to the supermarket now. Okay, be careful. Amy, when are you coming? You were supposed to arrive at 9 o'clock on the schedule. It's already 11 o'clock. Excuse me, mother-in-law. The road from the airport to your house was very busy. Probably due to the rush of going back home. Then... Due to a problem at the airport, I was not able to board at the time I was supposed to. The plane didn't fly. What is that? Do something about it! No, no, that's impossible. No matter how much we try, we do not have the power to deal with the rush to return home, or the airports. That's not what I meant! Find another route, and somehow get here on time. That's what the wife is supposed to do. Instead of looking for another airport, or driving all the way to the airport, it's much smarter to wait for the plane. Huh? Did you call me an idiot? I didn't say anything. Please put on your cooking clothes as soon as you arrive. We have a lot of work to do. We're running behind on the schedule because you are late. Does that mean cleaning and shopping again? If you don't mind, you could ask someone else who's available to help. What are you talking about? They may be relatives, but they are my guests. You are out of your mind trying to make guests work for you. I am no one's wife, remember? Am I not a guest? What are you talking about? You're no one's wife. That means you're my family. And I guess all your relatives are family too. Don't be so silly. Huh? Then can you send me the shopping list now? I'll buy some stuff at the supermarket on the way to your house. No, you can't. That would make Nolan work. He is family too, right? He's more family than me. He's my only son. I can't make my beautiful son work for me. You're not afraid of making your lovely son's wife work. Women have to work. Working hard for the family. It's the only way you make your existence worthwhile. Oh, I see. I can't leave my relatives in a dirty house for hours to begin with. So, I need you to come early and clean up first. Then can I ask you to start cleaning first? I'll do it when I get there. 
You're going to make me do this alone? Uh, okay. I'll be there as soon as I can. You'd better. Amy, you are still at the supermarket, right? Yes. Good. I'm glad your movements are so slow. So, what else do you want from me? I want you to get me something extra. I'm already occupied. I can barely message you. But you are sending me messages right now. That means it's okay. Can I come back there first? If I had a car, it'd be no problem at all. But for some reason, I'm not allowed to use the car. Of course not! If I have anything unexpected coming up, it's not convenient to not have a car here. But that doesn't mean you need your husband's and Nolan's car. Is it necessary for you to keep two cars? I think one car is enough. If they have something to do in a hurry, they'll be in trouble, right? Yes, but I don't think it won't happen for both of them to have something in a hurry at the same time. You will never know. Oh, and you can't stop by here in between shopping. What? Why not? It would be a waste of time if you had to come back and forth. But I don't know if I can bring it back with me. If it's something small, I think it'll be okay, but... The men said that they're out of beers. So, beer, whiskey, wine, just get them something at random. Are you really talking about beer now? But each one is small, so it's okay, right? I already have juice for the kids to drink. I have rice and all kinds of stuff. There's no way I can bring beer with me. If it's not too much, it's fine. Besides, you're young. You say I'm young, but I'm also over 30. You're younger than me. Amy, you can do it. Can you always call Nolan? I don't think I can bring him in myself. No way. He's almost wasted because of his relative. What? Has he already had that much to drink? I usually tell him to refrain from drinking because he gets drunk really easily. Oh, you're saying that? It's New Year's Eve. Especially if he's being nagged by his devil wife. I'm sorry, do you mean me? Oh, I'm sorry, that slipped out. Anyway, please buy him drink. As soon as you can. Wait a minute, please. I really can't. Please call someone. Mother-in-law, you're terrible. How can you suddenly pour water on me? It's bad enough that you're slacking off. You think you can afford to sleep in peace? Don't rest, even for one second. Keep working. Your relatives are coming back in the evening, right? You can afford to have a cup of tea and take a break. Do you think it's okay for me to have a little bit of a nap? Who permitted you to take a nap? I don't remember giving it. I told Nolan. I've been moving around since yesterday and I'm tired. So I'm going to take a five minute nap. A wife listens to the mother-in-law. When we first got married, didn't you say, a wife listens to her husband? It depends on the place and the situation. Right now, Nolan is at his parents' house. It's me and my husband who lives in this house. So you should listen to us. Well then, if I had called my father-in-law and asked for his permission, you wouldn't have poured water on me? You could have done that, but you can't. My husband is out with his relatives right now. He really checks his messages. What's that? So you were going to interrupt my nap from the beginning. That's a terrible thing to say. I just want you to do your job as a wife. You made me do all the cleaning and shopping. What do you make me do now? The relatives are coming over tonight. We have to prepare dinner. Yes, but... Frankly, I don't want to cook in this house. Oh my god! Do you think you're allowed to say that? Because you throw every single thing I cook into the trash. I don't want to do it anymore. It's because you never learned the taste of my home. It's your fault! Then why don't you just tell me all the ingredients and the amounts? But all you tell me is, learn it with my eyes and tongue. If you say you can't do anything, do you think you'll be out of charge of cooking? In charge of what? I do everything, don't I? All you do is tell me what to do. Wives are supposed to work. What is wrong with you? And yet, 
When relatives or your husband or Nolan pass by, you pretend to give me advice or do things with me. It's just a coincidence. It just helps you sometimes. Because you're so obtuse. You know that you're doing something wrong. You realize that, don't you? I'm not doing anything wrong. As your mother-in-law, I'm guiding you, Amy. I see. So you don't think you're wrong at all? Of course not. Then I have my own ideas. Please be prepared. Oh well. I wonder what you're going to do, Amy. I'm looking forward to it. Missed calls. Missed calls. Amy, where are you? My house is in trouble. Come back and explain. Didn't I explain to you? I've been daughter-in-law abused by your mother. That's the explanation? Anyway, come back. I feel sorry for my mom. Everyone blames her. They blame her? That's hilarious. Your mother did that much. I'm not going back. I just found a new hotel, so I'm staying there. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on? More importantly, do you how I went over there? I'm telling you, it's a mess. I'm not asking about right now. When my mother-in-law threw away my food, I said, Mother-in-law, how dare you throw away the dinner I just cooked? Don't you feel sorry for the food? How did she respond? At the time, everyone was surprised. Of course they were. It screamed pretty loud. I think it was the third time. Mother-in-law, don't hit me because you don't like me. A few people tried to check on you too. Oh, I think it was around that time that some of the relatives came over. It was really funny how desperately she was trying to make excuses. You knew how my mom behaves. That's why you were recording the daughter-in-law grinding. That's right. Whenever someone passes by, she always tries to cover it up. I could easily imagine she's making excuses. Oh, right. So your mother, are you saying that she's being blamed by the family now? Yes, she is. Dad's pissed. I think she's being blamed from the female relatives mainly. Maybe there were a lot of victims of the wife beater. Your father didn't know about it either? I guess so. I thought so. When I showed him the video as evidence, his face turned blue. So it was your mother and you who were out of their right mind. What? Me too? Did you really think you were decent? I told you how many times that I was being bullied by her. It's crazy when your mother's pressure is getting to you and you're doing whatever she says. I see. I'm sorry. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I'll convince my mom. So come back. There won't be a next time. I'm getting a divorce. What? You're lying, right? Do you think I would lie like this? I'm sick and tired of your mother and you. No way. Why do I have to divorce you? I said I'd make sure there won't be a next time. How many times have you said that? What? We've been married for three years and I've heard it more than enough. I'll make sure it won't happen again. I'll tell my mother very strictly. I can't believe it anymore. I've seen you get knocked down so many times. Every time you lose and I'm the one who gets in trouble. Do you understand? I'll help you next time. That's your parents' house. What do you mean by help? You say that I'm supposed to do the housework. That's not true. That was just a figure of speech. That's how it was. I will not change my mind. I'll leave first thing tomorrow. I'll leave the divorce papers on the table. Why don't you relax at your parents' house? How can I relax under these circumstances? I won't sign the divorce papers. Please, come back. Amy. Amy? I heard you divorced Nolan. Yes. The divorce proceedings were completed yesterday. Now, Nolan and I are strangers. If a woman gets divorced, her future is bleak, isn't it? You don't make enough money. Are you glad you got divorced? Your son is the one who doesn't make enough money. Huh? 
Do you think it's okay to make fun of someone, even if he's your ex-husband? I'm not making fun of him. It's just a fact. You know that Nolan and I work for the same company, right? I know that. But so what? I'm his boss, and he's my subordinate. Maybe you didn't know that. Huh? Really? That's right. That's why I get paid more than him. But eventually, men make more money. Even if no one is lower than you now, he will overtake you eventually. As long as he works for the company, it's gonna be difficult. He's my child! What's wrong with you? Actually, last year he made a big mistake at work that cost the company a lot of money. Because of that, I think it'll be difficult for him to get promoted in the future. What? You're kidding, right? Since he doesn't seem to have the courage to change jobs, there's a big possibility that he'd be an ordinary employee in the future. Oh no! There's no way that's true for my boy! Besides, your husband is also thinking about the amount of living expenses they can put into the house. What? My husband? Is that what he said? Yes, he reported it to me, you know? I've been working all the time and pushing housework and child rearing on her. I gave her a lot of money so she wouldn't be inconvenienced. That's why she was so selfish and did what she did. That's what he told me. That has nothing to do with it. I'm in trouble. He needs to keep putting money in the house, as he's always been doing. Please tell that to your husband. I'm the wrong person to tell. But it's better than to get a divorce, isn't it? Well, if my father-in-law divorced you, he would have to live on his own. I'm sure he didn't want that. I think divorce is a terrible idea. Hey, if I tell my husband, will he still give me the money? I don't know. That's up to your husband. But the money you get from Nolan and your husband is decreasing. It looks like you won't be able to afford whatever you want from now on. Wait a minute! Why is Nolan sending me less money too? I told you before. My salary is higher than his. But since we divorced, of course, he gets less money, right? So, isn't it inevitable that he will send less money to you too? Oh, I forgot that! In the worst case scenario, he might not be able to send any money to you. Oh no! We'll be in trouble! Hey, you get paid better than him, right? Can you send money to me? Huh? Why should I give money to a stranger? I'm Nolan's mother, right? I'm your ex-mother-in-law. No, no, you said it yourself. I'm your ex-mother-in-law. Do you understand? An ex-mother-in-law is a stranger. I don't understand what you mean by sending money to a stranger. I've always thought you were a strange person. You are even more stupid than I imagined. Well, I don't care because I don't have anything to do with you anymore. Well then, goodbye. Wait a minute! Amy! Don't you want to reconsider the divorce after all? Amy! Within a month, my ex-husband voluntarily resigned from his job. He was not good at his job and was distant from the company. Rumors started to circulate that he had been divorced and he couldn't take it anymore. Now, my ex-father-in-law is supporting my ex-mother-in-law and ex-husband. It seems that they are living in a very hard life. Because of that one incident, even the relatives have distanced themselves. My ex-husband's family will have a lonely life in the future. I had little trouble working because of my ex-husband's presence. But now that he's left, I can work more vividly. I'm going to keep working as hard as I can in the future.